not sure if this is an ominous sign or not, but uh, <laughs> you know we're making progress on the Black Widow. Here's the uh, crowd that we have now gathered. So if you're not from Texas and have never seen an armadillo, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna tackle the uh, anchor locker bulkhead. Is what I'm calling it. The most forward of the, the boards that goes across, and then underneath of uh, the forward bunks in front of the mast, there's another small bulkhead that goes across. We're going to cut the rest of that out, hopefully salvage it as a template, and then template the front, cut the plywood, start putting them in. The one job we've been dreading. <laughs> one job. Yeah, it's like, what else can you do? Well, the good news is the rest of the parts from, from uh, Vela are going to arrive like on Tuesday, so this will be fully outfitted at that point. But yeah, I was just throwing a zinger in there, Rod. We know it's coming. <laughs> Appreciate it. We're working. We got uh, all the uh, new sailors heading out in the water. <laughs> you know, it's kind of ironic that Fort Worth Boat Club there postponed their race, but yet we have our kids yeah, you, our kids going out. <laughs> we should say, that's actually priceless. Somebody said that to James. I'm gonna also do an interior update. Look at that. We don't have them in yet. <laughs> There's a new hole in the floor of the boat. All right, so we're we're attacking today oh, the uh, dreaded bolt or bunkheads, whatever you want to call them, that we believe are a class requirement. Haven't really confirmed that, but structurally, I think they're going to be important. There's nothing else than who can sleep on the boat, as Ken did for <laughs> many years. When our wives are mad at us, <laughs> when, when we run out of money and we can't afford the racing program that we're. <laughs> Putting together. <laughs> no more hotels. All right. So what's your what's your ETA? How long do you think it's gonna take you to finish this? Uh, hopefully not long to cut this out. We'll see. I've never uh, actually used one of these. The Roto Zip three thousand. Yeah. Well, the idea is we're gonna come in right along the bottom of this and cut it out and then. Use it. You uh, use it as a template. If you're going to do it, you probably want a respirator because you're going to you're going to kick up a lot of fiberglass dust. Yeah, probably. I'll use the same one you did when you did the uh, painting. Painting is different. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of painting, this is going to be the theme of the show. We like warn each other to use appropriate. Well, I'm just thinking about like how much fiberglass you're going to go through. I can see it bedded in down there, and uh, yeah. at least on the front bunk. Oh, I'll try not to eat it. We'll see. I can always change my mind. All right, so we got some. We got a new blade, two new blades. That's good, just in case. And then we got this here. So I've been watching the good, the bad, and the ugly uh, on how to fiberglass that channel. Oh, okay. We should, so, we should link them so they don't get plugged. Them. They. Uh, I'm using uh, this blade first because it was the last one in my hand when I emptied out the bag. I like the cabinets, they look good. Update on that, um, I spoke with Joe and um, Chris Holmes, and they actually ordered a piece of teak uh, to fill in that one side of the door, and then we'll have to... Um, oh, do we have to do we have to complete these bulkheads or not? No. The ones back here? No, out? actually, um, I don't believe we do. It was recommended, or you could just keep the back lazarettes shut, which is what we've done. We've, All right, we've shut the lazarettes. So, if anyone knows the real answer to that question, if we <laughs> cla have to be to be class legal, if we need uh, to fill in these, what is that, a quarter berth bulkhead? I didn't, I didn't see anything in the in the in the legal section. So, so that we uh, that we do have a question on. If someone can help us with that, that'd be awesome. Or Dave, if the boat sinks, we just make sure the crew is clear and. Uh, and we swim to shore and we'll get picked up by the race committee boat. That's the plan. We've got to get the cooler. <laughs> get the cooler. You're right. You're right. Grab the cooler. Didn't they have a cooler in Jaws and that's how they made it back? They floated back? I don't know. Sealing the chain plates with some uh, RV butyl tape. As we're putting them down in, Matt's shoving butyl down in there. 
And then um, there's a packing plate. Well, out of a cover that as we put it on, it's going to uh, squeeze more and, and the butyl will squeeze out from around that. Yeah, I've got that one done already. Like this one over here to prevent the water from coming out. So it was awesome. Matt came down to help today. And uh, look at this, the sea hood is now bolted down, through bolted, looking good. And uh, I don't know, coming right along, looking like a boat, looking like a J24 finally. This is where the uh, paddle wheel came down for the uh, uh, knot meter. And it's just, it's a little extra friction. So you want to get rid of as much of that as uh, parasitic drag as you can. So we filled it in, we filled it from the top side then to fill it in and make the angles where they weren't so harsh and the cloth would stick easier, I filled part of it in with colloidal silica and then I patch, I put just a ton, probably about 15 pieces of cloth in there. And then uh, I'm gonna sand it down and fair it out and then we'll barrier coat it and we'll be set to go. Be slick. Slick as pie. So as you can tell, Ken's a perfectionist. He refuses to give up. He refuses to do anything easy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be that's, amazing. That's the absolute truth. <laughs> cool. We even have a Paul Bell appearance. Paul Bell is not just by name. Now you got a face. <laughs> so, that's what he's buffing. I think I have enough footage of the shiny boat. It is windy. So Paul Bell just showed up to Thank throw down the gauntlet and said that he wants to see us do the marathon race in the Black Widow the day we splash. I'm not knocking for nothing. I need I have a question. Where's my rope knife? In the bed? It's Captain Paul. Where's my cruise rope knife? Paul Bell's here to collect. So here's how the Black Widow works. Somehow, the oldest guy on the project does all the work. It gets progressively more involved as you get older. So, as Mark reference, I've done nothing. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and and he's, he's installed the oldest guy we know to do all the polishing. Hey, did this boat ever look like this before? Yeah. Yeah, it did. When I first painted it, before I sanded it, and I uh, was going to do graphics, it was actually maybe a little bit shinier than this, but it wasn't as smooth, so it didn't look as good, actually. So you're saying when you, after you do your third coat, it'll be shinier? <laughs> <laughs> After the third coat, it's going to be a totally different color. <laughs> Maybe we could just put it in a museum somewhere and make some money off it. Well, they, have to, they, 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 they just put the J24 in the uh, sailing museum in Rhode Island, I saw. Yeah, I can see spots. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back over. A spot up here at the bow. Well, there's, if you look from this area, there's... Oh, oh no, that's just dust. Never mind. I think it looks good. Yeah. I think once... We're going to awesome. wipe it down. Any spots, I'll go back over. That's awesome.